Hey, Barons, this October on Disney Plus, Disney's The Mysterious Benedict Society returns for season two. Relying on only their wits, intellect, and empathy, the charming group of misfits embark on a globe trotting adventure by air, land, sea, and pie truck, <laughs> calling upon their special skills to solve the mysteries and rescue their lost comrades. Along the way, the kids experience the growing pains that come along with being a part of their newfound family while remaining true to their unique selves and discovering what true happiness really means. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney+. Plus. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time or you're still newer to our family, I want to encourage you to try five. That's our challenge where, for five days in a row, your kids listen to some awesome stories to use their imagination and watch their creativity come to life. You see, we make stories every single day for you, and uh, you just never know what kind of story you're going to find on any given day. So hang with me for five days, whether maybe driving in the car or maybe during lunchtime. And I think you're going to find something pretty amazing happens. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. (sighs) Charlotte was just waking up on a Saturday morning. Saturdays were a very special day. She had just started kindergarten. Saturdays were her stay at home day. She loved kindergarten, but also loved days that she could stay at home with her family. So she ran downstairs because she was very hungry. Her mom was down there making some very delicious pancakes, waffles, and bacon. Mmm, those were her favorites. As Charlotte sat down at the table, her mom said, All right, dear, I need you to eat very quickly because I need your help with something. Charlotte loved helping her mom and said, What? What is it? What do you need? What do I get to do? And her mom replied, Well, I'm super busy this morning. I need you to run to the store and pick something up for me. Can you do that? Huh? What? Charlotte was only five years old. Can five-year-olds go to the store by themselves? Yeah, I didn't think so, but hmm, let's see what happens. Here, Charlotte, take this list and go to the store. I need you to pick up these things. There were three things on the list that her mom handed her. Eggs, milk, and what is this? What is this word? She didn't know this word. Her mom helped her spell it out. C-A-N-D-Y. Do you know what that spells? Candy! Yes, (laughs) yes, you can get candy, her mom said. Yes, it's a special treat for a special job. So I need you to be as fast as you can, okay? Hurry to the store, pick up these three things, and come right back home, okay? Yes, ma'am. Charlotte ran to her closet to get her jacket. She couldn't find it anywhere. It always disappears, but... Wait a second. In the back of the closet, there was a purple jacket that she'd never seen before. She reached all the way back there and pulled it out. There was a little tag on it that said, Flying Jacket. What? Jackets don't fly, do they? No way. Well, maybe. You know, maybe she should try just in case. So she put the jacket on and remembered. Oh, wait, I need money to go get those things. Mom! Mom! Her mom wasn't anywhere around. Oh, no. Uh, Maybe her sister has some money. She ran over to her sisters and said, Do you have any money I could borrow? I need to get these things for Mom. I don't have any money. Her sister reached down and handed her a few dollars and some quarters. Oh, perfect. Thank you. She filled her pockets with the dollars and the quarters and went outside. Wait a second. Hmm, I need to go back in and get a backpack because I need something to carry all these things in. So she got a backpack and then went back outside and said, Huh, I wonder if this jacket can really fly. 
I wonder how you make it work. Is there like an on button? Or do you know? Do you know how to turn on a flying jacket? I don't. Hmm. She put her hands in her pockets and imagined. Wait a second. Uh, maybe if I stretch my arms out with the jacket and turn it into like an airplane, then it will fly. And that's exactly what she did. She put her hands in her pockets and stretched her arms out wide. And a huge gust of wind blew her right into the sky. Oh! Charlotte was screaming. She was so terrified and excited at the same time. She glided all the way up to the clouds over the trees. This is awesome! She said as she flew all the way across to the store and gently landed right in a shopping cart. Oof! <laughs> well, she didn't have much time left. She had to run into the store quickly. Do you remember the three things that she was supposed to get? Milk, eggs, and candy. Yeah. So as quickly as she could, she found those three things in the store, paid with the money, went back outside, and opened her arms up. The wind sucked her back up into the sky. Woo! As she flew through the air, she saw birds. Wow, what is that? That's a white swan, and look, those are geese. Those are ducks, and wow, there were birds everywhere. She sailed all the way back home and landed in a bush. Oof! Ouch! As she walked inside and opened up her backpack, just as her mom walked out of a room, and her mom said, Charlotte, you're... How did you... How did you get back so soon? I didn't know if you would actually go to the store for me. That, that's amazing. Yeah, well, you see this jacket here? It's a flying jacket. It flew me to the store and back. Her mom laughed a little. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Charlotte. Well, thank you for getting me the things. Um, hmm. Wait a second. Are you serious about that jacket? Did it really fly? Charlotte smiled and started to walk away. Well, Mom, I guess you'll never know, she said. The end. Make sure you stick around to the end to hear kids shoutouts. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Hey Barons, Mr. Jim here to tell you why our kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, thanks Osmo, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to actually encourage learning in a way that's really exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. You see, Osmo uses real tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys that interact with an immersive digital experience. So don't just watch, but play along with your kids and have a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. The Genius Starter Kit comes with a base and a reflector that fits most iPad models. Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. All right. Who remembers those three things? She had a list of three things to get on the store. Yes, candy, milk, and eggs. Great job! And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts! I want to say hey to Thorin from Pennsylvania, Wyatt from Wisconsin, Lev from Atlanta, Flora from Montana, Bennett from Canada, Maya and Alex from Hong Kong, and Parker from Maryland. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family. I definitely cannot have this much fun with imagination without you. Have a super duper day. I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.